Okay, so I'm back to talk to you about other ways of packaging your bath salt. So this is a basic bath salt recipe. Inside we have Epsom salt, um, the pink Himalayan rock size salt. It's larger crystals, you can see in this bowl. Um, a little bit of dried lavender. And the lavender, of course, has wonderful properties to it, but where we're getting most of our relaxation is from the bottle of essential oil that we've added several drops to the salt and stirred it all up. So now let's talk about how we're gonna give these to someone. These jars are a dollar at um, Michael's. You can get them in a set of 12 and save even more money. This is my favorite way, so I'm gonna show you how I like to package that. Just pour your bath salts in, and I love the different textures of that rock salt in there, the pink Himalayan, the lavender petals, and the um, Epsom salt. It's just beautiful. Um, this would be enough for probably four or five baths, and so this is a really nice um, quantity of bath salt to give to somebody. So you have your two-piece lid that comes on these um, jars. We're just gonna put that one down and you can get these little, they look like little lace doilies, but they're made out of paper. I'm gonna put that right on top. It's gonna cover up where the sticker didn't come all the way off and it's going to give it a really pretty look on the top. Now I'm gonna take some twine and I'm just going to wrap it around the neck of the bottle. This is the smaller twine, but you can do the larger twine as well. And I'm gonna tie a bow here. And I've also made a little um, note card from our embossing powders in a um, mason jar shaped tag. Just gonna string that through and tie a bow on here. And then on the back of the tag, I haven't done it yet, but what you should do is write how to use what's in the jar. You would wanna name it relaxing lavender, bath salts, um, and you, you could say it contains pure essential oils, but if you're selling this, you don't need to say that it says Young Living Essential Oils. That's just part of our policy that um, we have at Young Living. But basically, this is a great gift, and you could hand this just like it is. You could add it with some other spa products that you've made um, and make a basket out of it, but this is just a great way to give the bath salts. This is another beautiful type of bottle. This one came from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was about $4 and then I bought it when it was half off. So it has the little rubber cork on it so it stays in the jar very well. Um, this looks beautiful with a different type of ribbon around it. You could make it where um, a, a tag would hang down from it. Maybe even a, a wood chip, something really natural. That's all what's in, in style right now. And I want to show you these little guys because these are so smart and so just ready to be done. Okay, let me just show you this up, up close. This says Merry Christmas and it's a, it's a glass jar, has the cork on it. It has the twine and it has little bitty charms on it, little um, a snowman and a set of Christmas bells. This one says Noel on it and it has the charms on it too. And then this one says, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Y'all, for those of you who are not real crafty, or maybe you just don't have time to sit down and make up some of this stuff, I bought these three in one package at Michael's. The price on the package was $3.99. Were they 40% off or 50% off? They were 40% off of $3.99. So, $5.99, is that what it was? Okay, I'm getting corrected. But anyway, they're really cheap, like three of them in a thing. If it was, say, it, let's say it was $6 at full price, you've got $2 in each one of these. You can pour your bath salts in here. You might wanna use a funnel, put your cork in there if you wanna melt the wax around the top like we did with the um, test tubes, you could do that. Um, either way, it's just up to you and all different kinds of things that you can do. If you don't want to invest in glass, these are, are plastic piping bags. You can find these over in the Wilton cake decorating section of your craft store, and you can literally fill it up with your bath salts. Tie it, put a bow with it. You can even put a label on it before um, you fill it up. And it's a great way to present some bath salts or really anything um, powdery that you wanna package into this. Now, I've seen on Pinterest, and Jackie was brought to my attention, you can take some brown um, 
pipe cleaner and tie this on the top. Shape it kind of like antlers. Pretend those are antlers. And then take a red, this is white, but a red pom-pom ball and put it here on the end with a glue gun and two little squiggly eyes and you've got a little reindeer looking package that has bath salts on the inside. Great to be able to give to a teacher or even if you are a teacher or you have a group of kids that you need to give um, maybe a, a multiple amount of gifts to that you're looking for something very cost effective, make some kid friendly bath salts and put them in and make them look like Rudolph. So those are all great ideas. Look on Pinterest for more packaging ideas. Um, these are my favorite. Talk to you later, bye.